hello 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 and welcome back to my channel y'all y'all know if y'all follow me on youtube you know that um my nails has been jacked up because i mean we still in quarantine y'all the struggle is real out here that's why i'm not showing my face still <laughs> gotta get this hair did <laughs> anyway i tried to work on my nails a little bit so don't judge me they look better than they did on the last video and with some black polish to cover it up because i can't take these off these are my real nails but i just have a critic on it to keep them strong and I can't do anything with them. And I'm bad painting when it comes to doing my own nails. So I got paint everywhere, y'all. I should have cleaned it up a little bit before I got on camera, but I forgot. So don't judge me. I'm trying to get these videos out to y'all. So today we are going to be today I'm going to show you how I basically um seal my glitter on my wine glasses. I know the, the wine glasses are a big hit. A lot of people like the blinged out like um the blinged out glitter wine glasses. For this video, you will need I use wax paper to cover my my I use wax paper to cover my table up. But you can use copy paper, you can use newspaper, you use whatever you want. But I get it from Dollar Tree for only a dollar, and I have it already right here on my to cover my spot up because glitter can be very very messy, as you know. So I try to get something long that can cover my spot up that I'm going to be glittering on. Okay, you also going to need some Mod Podge, okay, and also a cup or something to put your Mod Podge in. You're gonna need a brush. These brushes are really nice. I like these spongy brushes. You get them from Dollar Tree, you can get it from um, Walmart, you can get it from anywhere. Also gonna need some glitter. And I'll let you know where I get this glitter from in a minute. So you need something, you can get a, use a plate or some paper, copy paper. You're gonna need a glass, of course. And I already blinged out this glass. Um, I do have a video on how to bling out glasses, so you can check that out, okay? And you also need some rubber alcohol. I always use 91% alcohol, okay? I got this from Walgreens. Just spray it on a little bit to make sure your glass is clean before you put the glitter on there, okay? Then we'll just step off the way and show you my glitter. Basically, um, I got this lady in my group, and she has a business. She has a business called Poly Glitter. And she saw, she sent me a whole lot of samples. So shout out. So shout out to Poly Glitter for sending me these samples. She sent me this purple, it's my favorite color, so I'm gonna use this color today. It's really pretty. This is called Violet Rain. Very pretty. So check out www.polyglitter.com. This is the, the, the sample she gave me. She gave me a whole envelope full, so I'm gonna show you these real quick before we start our video. Um, she gave me this one. It's called um, Outrageous, Outrage Chunky Glitter. It's red. And I already did it on this on this glass right here. I applied it to this glass. Isn't that beautiful? Okay. There's the glitter. Beautiful. And then she also sent me a one called Cotton Candy. It's a pink color. Let me show you the package. This is the glitter right here. How it looks. This, this little sample, so. And they're pretty. I'm gonna show you the glass that I'm working on. This glass is still wet. Okay. So that is that one. And she also sent me this other one. It's chunky. It's like a, a gold nugget. It's called Golden Nugget. Let me show you how that looks. Ooh, glitter getting everywhere. I'm trying to get on this plate right here that I'm gonna be using. And this is how it looks on this glass. This one is still wet also. I've been working, y'all. I love doing these glasses. I did all the bling yesterday, and now I'm glittering, putting glitter on them today. That's pretty. Okay. And this one right here, she didn't give me the blue. Well, she gave me a blue, but I just used my own. This other blue I already had. I got this from um, Walmart, um Michaels. That's so going to be a pretty one, too. Okay. I don't know if I showed y'all. I'm sorry if I showed y'all the picture the face on this glass okay and this one was called golden nugget glitter all from poly glitter let me show you some more samples she gave me before she gave me this nice one just show you the colors that's the name okay that's a chunky here's another t we Till we meet again, it's like a till. This one, vintage rose, pretty. She gave me a lot of them, y'all. Eggplant. 
rip tight. Rebel Red. Copper Rose. Arctic Fox. Phantom Blue. It looked purple on my camera. Oh, it is like a purple blue. Um, Diamond Silver. Angel Kiss. Bluebird. Confession. Marion Berry. Midnight Dreams. What well, is pretty? Me Lucky Charms. Kiss Me K. And Pink Boutique. Beautiful, beautiful, y'all. So check her out. Check her out and shout out to her. Thank you for sending me samples. I appreciate you. I want to give them a shout out. And I'm going to enjoy my glitters, putting it on my um, mugs and my um, wine glasses. Okay, I want to thank Polly Glitter so much for sending me these samples. I appreciate it. And I will be using these on my wine glasses. And I will be doing more tutorials on this gla glitter. And if you would like to send me some of your products that you have with your little own business, if you own a business and you would like to send me some products that I can test and I can also share with my viewers, please um, Facebook me. Please message me on Facebook, Charmaine Galloway. I do have an email, but it's really hard. My email is off the hook. I have so many emails coming in. I really don't really notice that right offhand. But you can send, you can just basically FaceTime me, Charmaine Galloway. You can basically just Facebook message me, Charmaine Galloway. Or if you don't have Facebook, you can email me, MissCharmGal at Yahoo.com. And I'll leave everything below. And I can share with my subscribers. And I can also do a tutorial on how to use the product. I'm also affiliated with Condi. Condi sent me free um, merchandise and stuff from, from their company. So I will be um, doing some sublimation on um, it, on items from Condi. And also, if you go to Condi.com and use my name, you will be able to get a discount on your products for being one of my viewers, my, for being my subscriber here on YouTube. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and pour the glitter inside this container because it's easy to use. This is how much it is, how much I get in this little sample. So this is fine glitter, so we're gonna probably gonna need a couple of um, layers, okay? First thing you need to do is take your glass and clean it. So I just spray it once. I'm gonna spray it over here at the camera so it won't get on my table, okay? And then you just basically get your Mod Podge. Like I said, I usually get a cup for my Mod Podge in, but since this is gonna be a clean surface, I'm gonna go ahead and use it. When I start putting glitter on it, I'll go ahead and get a, a small cup that I get from Dollar Tree, little tiny cups that you can throw away. And also, after you finish using your, every time you use your paintbrush, make sure you wash it with warm water we don't even have to use soap. Just rinse it off with warm water and you can reuse it again. I love these brushes because you can use them a couple times before throwing them away. Okay. You just basically dip your um, paintbrush inside the Mod Podge. And you go ahead and hold your cup any way you want to, however you want to do it. You just go ahead and put a layer of Mod Podge on there. Just to make sure you get an even tone, an even layer all around the, the glass, okay? You know, if you use a really thin, light color glitter, you want to make sure it's even because if you don't keep it even, if you don't, if, you're, if your Mod Podge is not even, you will see the clumps, okay? And I'm going to show you that too because I have a clumps on my little glass over here. I'm going to show you that I see now. But if you just put more layers on top of that, make sure it's smooth, you'll be okay. And I basically try not to put my Mod Podge on top of the plate because that glitter go there. So I basically use the paper for the Mod Podge like this. And then I use the um, plate for the glitter. Because once you get that, if you drop some Mod Podge on your plate, it, the glitter will stick to it. And you don't want to do that because you want to reuse the glitter that you don't use on the glass. Okay. Just basically just paint the Mod Podge on there. Make sure it's even on this around here, the rim. If you want to go higher on the glass, you can. But this is how I do my glasses. It's much easier to me because it's easier for me because if I go up higher, <laughs> that line would not be even. But you can also get tape and stuff, but I'm not good at all that. So I just do the rim of the glass. I mean, I just do the bottom stem of the glass, and that's all I can do. I don't like to mess up nobody's stuff. <laughs> Make sure it's nice. So Make sure you get every spot, all your spots on here. Not to be perfect, really, because you're going to get another layer anyway, okay? OK? 
okay but now we're done with the mod podge you just close that up and put it to the side and i'll try to brush my brush and make sure i don't do a lot of mod podge away y'all because it, it seals up real close it, it seals up the rim and you can't open it up so what i do is i basically go like this and then i just wipe off the mod podge around so when, it, when i seal it up it'll close and it won't glue the top clothes i had so many times i had to throw bottoms away mad because this is not this is not cheap okay i'm using the um glossy the gloss it don't matter which one you usually do any one you want to okay so now i'm gonna go ahead and get my glass and get my glitter it's basically you just tilt the glitter over oh my arm is not gonna be in the way but you just basically pour it on there i'll do the bottom first that purple is pretty Sprinkle it on there. It don't matter if you're losing glitter because see, I got some Mod Podge on there. So it's gonna stick a little bit on the plate. Just pour it on there. Oh, I love it. And you just basically tilt it and pat it so you get all the excess glitter off. And usually I do the rims too. So I'm gonna do this the next time because I can't do it now because it's wet, but I usually go around the rim too. I'm rushing because I'm, I'm always messing up when I'm on the video, y'all. I just did all these glasses and I did perfectly. Now I'm messing up. But yeah, just go ahead and take your, your brush and you can just um, do the rim, the bottom of the stem also. I'll show you the next. Okay, so see now, see you still have some spots that didn't hit. So I'm going to go ahead and pour this back in here like this. Now you, I like paper plates because you can bend it. The paper is good too, but I don't like wasting my paper. <laughs> you can get these packs from a dollar. I mean, you can get these packs from the Dollar Tree for a dollar, okay? So you can use paper too. And this is good to, um, when you're using the, the other stuff too, like if you use epoxy and stuff like that, these plates are really good. So you want keep keep everything clean. But silicone um, mats are good too. Okay, this is really fine. So we're gonna probably need a couple coats with this, even though we always gonna need more than one coat, no matter what kind of glitter you use. The more coats you have, the better it'll last. The longer it the, um it lasts on the glass. <laughs> the longer the last on the glass, y'all. Okay, see, that's pretty. But well, we're gonna let this dry for about two hours, and then we come back and we're gonna put some more Mod Podge on it, and then we're gonna put another coat of glitter on it. Okay, so I'll see you in two hours. Okay, this has been drying for two hours, and look at that. That's really nice. It's a really good coverage. But you know you would still need another coverage. The more coverage, the better. I mean, I probably do like two, three coverages, coats or whatever. Because if something happens, like if somebody washed this glass and then some of the glitter come off, only a little bit, only one layer, the top layer come off. You still have some other layers on there, so it's best to do a couple layers on it. So when if they do wash it or whatever, you they still get some use out of it. Even though we have stuff that's gonna seal it with, you never know. Okay. So this time I'm gonna go ahead and make sure I get the Mod Podge around the edges so it can be purple around the edges, okay? I forgot to do that the first time. So go ahead and get my Mod Podge. And this time I'm gonna use a cup. And I'm using the same brush. This brush been drying for two hours too. So go ahead and use the same brush. And put a, you don't need that much in there, okay? Just a little bit so you won't waste it. So you, Cause the glitter will be mixed in there. You will throw it away after you finish it or just save it, put it in a baggie so you can do the next coat with it, okay? So I'm kind of low on Mod Podge. So basically I just basically go right over the glitter and with the sponges i like the sponges because you can dap it on there but the, the glitter is dry so if you want to wait an hour you can do an hour or you can do two between one and two hours but um if you wait two hours you can go ahead and brush it on there but if you do an hour a little bit of glitter come out from it if you do an hour you probably just want to dab it on there but if you dab it it's better because the, it's more glitter better so i'm gonna go ahead and make sure i go around here I'm just trying to make sure my camera, make sure I'm getting a good view of my camera. I got, I changed my craft room. I'm not in my small bedroom anymore. I'm in my basement, so I got the whole basement. Check out that video. I have a video that I be po uh, that I posted about how I, did, how I revamped <laughs> my whole craft room, so you can see before and after. Okay. I really like this space down here. I love it. And I just why this was drying. I'm, I was doing more. I cut out some more vinyl because these glasses really are a good seller. So I cut, I did some more vinyl, cut out some more vinyl. And while that vinyl was cutting out, I put my chair together. I bought me a new desk chair for my desk so I can swirl around, swivel around or whatever <laughs> around the room. But I put the whole thing up backwards. So I had to do it all over again. I'm like, Shh. I can't stand putting stuff together. 
I can craft, but I can't put stuff together. I'm not that type of chick. <laughs> Y'all can do it all over, but it was an easy chair to put together if I would have put it right together the first time the right way. But y'all put everything on backwards. But it's together now. I'm able to be a little bit more comfy. My old chair was like, um, it was old. I had it in my boutique. When I had my boutique, it was in the dressing room. I was like, it was gold, so I thought it was pretty. So I, um, and I put some cushion on it. I put like a regular bed pillow on the back of it with a pillowcase. And I put on a, a little cushion, a butt cushion that I got from the store. So it was comfy, but it was just like, no, it's time to go. I got I to gotta upgrade my chair since I got me a nice little craft room. <laughs> upgraded my craft room because okay, so now it's it's covered the glitter i mean the bipod is covered okay i'll take that tag off later you just basically spring i do the bottom first so we can stay, sit on there for a little while and with sometimes this glitter i make i just let it sit for a while before i pat it just so it can just get a little coverage you can do it however you want to this is a sample glitter um be really Re, um, refilling the container because there's not that much in here. But usually, when you have um, a lot of glitter, you don't got to keep on worrying about change, you know, filling it back up because you'll have a whole bottle of glitter. You just go ahead and shake as much as you can under this. So, that's, this, this glitter is pretty. Shout out to Poly Glitter. Poly Glitter check, um, dot com. Check them out. This is beautiful. I like the way it's um, shiny, sparkly. Okay. That is beautiful. I really like this color. And it's chunky, the chunky glitter. I got the chunky glitter right here, the red one. If you don't, if I showed it to you in the, middle, the beginning of the um, video, it really, it's a good coverage. That chunky is really a good coverage. Okay, so now I'm just basically getting more glitter. The gold is chunky too. I like that one too. So uh, my hand's in the way, sorry. But I can't put the camera in front of me because I have my, I have two tables put, put together. One day I'm gonna be able to go to Ikea and get that big table just basically sprinkling glitter on and go on top of the Mod Podge. That's all, y'all. Ain't that hard. Okay. Then you pat it when you or let it sit on there just for a couple seconds so it can just, you know, seal to a little bit. This is beautiful, y'all. I love this color. You know, my favorite color anyway. But this is like crown royal. This is just royalty. It's pretty. Okay. This is good. I might not need another coverage yet. No more glitter, okay? This really covered real good, okay? Now, that pink right there, I also got that from her, too. That's called the cotton candy. I needed, like, three three um, coats of that because it was, it's light. But since it's dark purple, I probably don't, don't need no I probably won't need any more glitter, okay? That is beautiful, y'all. Look at that. And I don't know if this camera is really showing you, but it's really glitter. It's, it's really, like, shiny sparkly okay i'll probably do another coat because i did not do two coats on the bottom so yeah i'll probably do another coat just so i can be able to get that second coat on that okay so i probably want to show that coat online on the um video so this nut you know i'm gonna come back after um two hours and i'm gonna let the, i'm gonna basically put another coat on there and then wait another two hours and come back and do the um the final coats okay so that is beautiful. Let me show you how the um the pink again. This is dry now because it was wet last time I seen it. Last time I was on video. So let's see how light that is. And you can still see lumps in here. So if you have, I don't know if you can see that in the camera, but it's like a lump, a line right there. So if you have light glitter like this, you're gonna make sure your, your Mod Podge is straight and no lumps and bumps because you will see that. So I'm gonna do this over again. I'm gonna do another coat of this. Probably right now, because it's been sitting for two years, two hours. I said two years. For two hours, and I'm gonna also get around here too. Okay. I probably do like two more coats on this because I really want this to be a little thicker because this is very fine. This is fine, fine. Okay. No, it says it's no wonder it says ultra fine. And I'm glad I'm wondering like why is it so thin? I might have known that. Let me show you. It's ultra fine. So yeah, I'm gonna need probably about another two coats on that. I didn't know that was ultra fine. I wouldn't have used it. I'm gonna use it on something else. But it don't matter because it's just it's basically you, you just put more coats on there. So that's ultra fine. This was chunky. And that covered this is only two layers. That's all I need on that one. That is nice. Okay. So, yeah, so now I see why it's so, I was like, why is it so thin? Yeah, that pink, I'm gonna need a couple more. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that off camera and I'm gonna be back after this dries with my, and I'm gonna put on the, the last coats. So see you when I get back. Okay, here's the re last result. Here, here is the results for this glass. It came out perfect, okay? 
The only thing I did was add one coat of my podge, let it dry for two hours, add another coat of my podge, let it dry for two hours. Then I sprayed it with the crystal clear. Okay. And that's it. Now you can just let it sit for 24 hours before you wash it. And you should be all good. That is beautiful. Let me know what other videos you want me to do. I'm running out of videos, y'all. So let me know what y'all want me to do. What other type of videos y'all want me to upload. Until next time, please check out my website, www.charminggalboutique.com. My Etsy page, Charming Gal Boutique number two. I'm, I'm really uploading. I'm, I just uploaded a whole lot of different products on my Etsy page. So please check it out. And please, 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 if you purchase anything from my Etsy site or my website, can you please leave me a review? I'm a small business owner just starting out. And the reviews really help for other people to be interested in purchasing my items. And I really appreciate your support and your business. Thanks for watching and be blessed. Mm -hmm.